A new class of Alzheimer's drugs is on the market. Instead of treating symptoms, this medication attacks the actual disease with promising results. Sherman Chow has more in today's Health Matters. Rolf and Carol Johnson just celebrated their 63rd wedding anniversary. I married her when I graduated from Rice. After three children, nine grandchildren, and a law career, Rolf was 75 when he sought out UT Health neurologist Dr. Paul Schultz. Yeah, I was forgetting a lot of stuff. Schultz specializes in dementia, and three years ago, he enrolled Rolf as the first patient in Texas for a drug trial designed to destroy brain plaque. It's shown in yellow on these scans and linked to Alzheimer's. The drug is made of antibodies. They find the amyloid in the brain, and they attach to it. That turns on the white blood cells, which then literally eat the amyloid plaques. So by a year and a half, most people don't have any amyloid present on their amyloid PET scan. It's not a cure, but helps reduce mental decline, and in some cases, patients actually show cognitive improvement. Recently, FDA-approved lecanemab, made by ASI, is now covered by insurance. The hour-long infusion is given every two weeks. Patients must also undergo a series of MRIs to monitor the brain. The antibodies help those with mild Alzheimer's. Because if you wait much longer, Literally every month, the efficacy of the medications goes down. For the Johnsons, that early treatment was key compared to friends in their age group. They have fallen off and many are deceased. And Rolf has been able to just stay just about where he was. And so we have our standard of living and we're enjoying our lives and it hasn't ruined everything. Rolf is now 85, Carol 84. And while Rolf continues to have some short-term memory issues, the couple live on their own, are active, and in good spirits. Fortunately, as you can tell, I had a wife who kept me straight. Sherman Chow, KHOU 11 News.